are y'all doing tonight? It's Leah. I'm back again. Um, to talk about the wonderful blessings of God. Y'all have been going through it. It's been rough. It's been rough. <laughs> but God is so merciful. You know, we're all just trying to find our way, and it's not always easy. And um, trying to hear God and sift through the chaos and the chatter and... let go of the pain of what other people have done to you in the past and um, sometimes we stumble sometimes we don't even realize that we're stepping out of God's will and When you do it, it hurts. It's painful because you want you want to do his will. You want to you want to do right by him. You want him to use you. And um, it's so wonderful to know that. You can go and surrender to him. And he'll take you back. He'll always forgive you. I want to share. Um, what the Lord just showed me. Deuteronomy 26. 16. A special people. Of God. This day. The Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and judgments. Therefore, you shall be careful to observe them with all of your heart and with all of your soul. Today you have proclaimed the Lord to be your God, and that you will walk in his ways and keep his statutes, his commandments, and his judgments, and that you will obey his voice. Also today, the Lord has proclaimed you to be his special people, just as he promised you that you should keep all of his commandments and that he will set you high above all nations, which he has made in praise, in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people to the Lord your God, just as he has spoken. If you fall off the horse, just get back on. <laughs> Sometimes it's painful to admit that you've done something wrong, even when, I mean, especially when um, you don't realize, like, what you're doing because of, like, the Leviathan spirit. I didn't, I just learned about that today or yesterday. And I didn't know how deceptive it was, like what it actually does. Um, but it twists things, makes you think. It come, comes in and makes you think things are happening that aren't happening. I mean, it's really evil. It's evil. But it, I want you to know that it can happen to anybody. Nobody is safe from the wiles of the devil. He roams around like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. And if he can trip you up any way that he can, he's going to try. He is relentless. 
I encourage you to just stay in a state of repentance and be constantly searching your heart posture and asking yourself why am I striving to do the things that I'm doing what is my goal um, behind my prayers what you know what what I'm praying for what I'm hoping for what I'm ask these blessings I'm asking the Lord for what is what is the reason really the Lord knows your heart but it's really important to know your assignment and to not let your feelings or your hurt and pain get in the way of what God is trying to do through you in the lives of others. Sometimes you have to set yourself aside. And I know it's really hard, but you have to learn how to forgive others who have deeply hurt you. It's difficult. <laughs> I just wanted to put this word out there to let you know that if you're going through something like this and you're having a hard time with people who have hurt you, that there is grace and there is mercy and there is forgiveness if you just lay it at Jesus' feet and let him deal with that inside of you. He wants us to love our enemies and forgive because it's not them. Everybody has pain and everybody goes through things and um, we've all been there. We've all been there. We're, none of us are perfect, I mean by far. We've all been um, on that giving end. I know I have. Like Paul said, I'm one of the worst. Paul was persecuting people, Christians, sending them to prison, mocking them, killing them. And then he became, well, he was Saul. And then Jesus came to him and he became Paul and he changed his life and gave it to the Lord. But he says in the gospel, I was one of the worst. I am one of the worst. None of us can say that, you know, we haven't been there because we have. I mean, let's be honest. It's when you decide to change your life and want to live for Jesus that when you kind of get pulled to doing things that you, you don't even realize that you're doing and you start getting convicted, the Lord starts convicting your heart over things and it's hard for you to see what he wants you to see I just encourage you to sit with the Lord and let him speak to your heart and show you where it needs to be healed and cleaned because that's what he wants to do. He doesn't, he's not mad at you. He's, he doesn't hate you. He loves you. And he knows that it's difficult. But it's so important for you to understand what he needs you to do. And to forget yourself 
for his business. Be about your father's business. Because he's raising you up to be a leader for other people to lead the way. Because a lot of people are deceived. And that's why he's been putting you through all of these tests and trials. When you decided to live for him, he started grooming you for this position in the kingdom. And it's really important that you don't go back, that you just keep pushing forward and making progress. And it's a process, it's difficult, but you grow with every experience. So just be encouraged that even though it looks insurmountable at times, weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning and God always renews us every day. And everything that happens is a teaching point. Just remain teachable and keep trying to follow the Lord and sit with him in his presence and he will show you the right way and what he needs you to do please like share subscribe i love you all with the love of christ